Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to the news update here on Buzzing Patea and to what's coming up. Uh, obviously, with Christmas just around the corner, uh, you can imagine everywhere is prepping up and getting ready for that. Uh, there's lots and lots of parties being organised, there's lots of events being organised, so uh, I'll bring more to that for you uh, probably by the end of next week, really, uh, for next week's update, once things are more uh, solid and in, in, in place. Uh, what have I been up to? Well, I went to Bang Chang. I've got to say, if you remember Soy 6 of the old days when it was all closed doors mostly, it was a case of like what went on behind the doors stayed behind the doors. Uh, I went over to Bang Chang. I've got two videos which I've done which will be coming out very soon. And I had a fantastic two days. I really did. They were brilliant. And uh, I was very lucky. One of my friends came over to see me on the second day, which was great. We went out in the evening. We had a fantastic time. Uh, but I've got to say, Bang Chang, you know, 30 minutes up the road, often overlooked, sadly. Uh, and it's a good, they've got a strip of bars there, which you'll enjoy. Uh, there's lots to see. You'll see the videos. Uh, but yeah, so Bang Chang was definitely one that I would recommend. Uh, get a bolt taxi up there. Go and explore. Have some fun, guys. It really is uh, on, on the uh, radar now. Uh, in terms of the buzzing lounge, uh, people have been asking me about when am I going to do the floor. We've got the new pool table now. The new pool table is in place and it's looking really good, getting lots of positive feedback. So thank you very much for all of that, guys. Uh, regarding knocking the wall down and regarding the floor, I'm not sure. That's going to be a bit of a tricky one because right now, you know, we are busy. Uh, there's more and more people coming out, which is fantastic. So it's finding the right time and being able to do it in a, in a quick enough uh, span that I can you know, minimise the amount of disruption that it will cause. So I don't know on that one, but watch this space. But anyway, the pool table is looking good. So in the local news, uh, right now, uh, they're looking at the electricity. It says here, the Thai Ministry of Energy explores further reductions in fuel tariffs for 2024 with Energy Regulatory Commission. Um, so, yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, the, the actual... Um, the, the actual uh, discount. Uh, I think right now it says it's 4.68 baht per unit and they're looking to bring it down to 4.2. So unless you're using gazillions amounts of electric, it's not really going to make much of a difference to you. However, for the big businesses, it will make a, a significant impact. But I think for people like ourselves, uh, we won't really notice it, to be fair. Uh, but at least it's, you know, it's a step in the right direction. They are trying to, uh, to make living here uh, more affordable. It's quite weird. Some people say to me, you know what, Trevor, it's not as cheap as it used to be. Well, there again, but nowhere else is, is it? You know, we're all, we're all, uh, you know, the cost of inflation stuff is going on. But the point is, it's still really, I think it's really affordable to live here. I really do. The only time you're going to get caught out short is if you start to dabble in stuff that's imported. You know, imported cars. If you go to some of the, uh, the nice uh, restaurants here with imported meats, imported wines and stuff like that, you know, that's when the cost comes over. But I think generally speaking, you know, you can still get your Kapal Morsat for 40 bar and, uh, you know, happy days go out for, for a few beers. Uh, just quickly on the news as well, while I think about it, uh, the buzzing bar in Treetown is no more. We have decided to rename it Bar 39. Uh, they are going to be doing uh, 39 baht beers between 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock. But uh, again, the uh, that's for Thai local beers. Any other beers will be 49 baht. But it's still a fantastic value. Still a great opportunity to go out there and enjoy some, uh, some beers at uh, very significantly reduced prices. But we're going to concentrate on the buzzing lounge here. Um, the big sign that you used to see out the front there with the big buzzing along the front there, that's now going to be, uh, what well, I think it's taken down. Now. I'm not sure we've done it already. Uh, but that's going to be put on the wall, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, above the lounge. So you're going to walk along to a chai and you're going to see the big B-U-Z-Z-I-N uh, right the way down the wall, which are hopefully will be done, uh, depending if we can get it done or not. So yeah, so don't worry. Uh, nothing's wrong. Nothing's changed. Uh, Stephen and I are still in business together. We're still very good friends. Everything's all in place. Nothing's changed whatsoever, other than the fact that uh, we've now renamed Buzzing Bars to Bar 39, just because it caused a lot of confusion. And uh, that's where we are with that one. Uh, other updates in the city. Uh, it says here, the police, tire police capture owner of the luxury gambling den in Northbury and 49 other individuals. Now, I don't know how aware you are about this, but guys, I wanted just to touch on this just so that you don't make the mistakes that many people could possibly make. Do not, under any circumstances, play cards or any kind of gambling here. You are just opening yourself up for a can of worms, heavy fines, possible imprisonment. You know, the guy that uh, they caught him, uh, he's looking at a long stretch. He really is, or, you know, whatever's going to happen. Um, but basically, you know, when you're walking down the road, you might think it completely innocent. You know, let's have a game of cards. Me and you just playing cards, sat at the bar, having a beer, playing cards. Honest to God, guys, if, if a police walk past, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. You really are. So please, please do not gamble at all. You know, it goes, you know, when I go up north, 
and I go around the villages, you know, you see them scurrying around in, in bushes, just playing their, their games. But, you know, if you get caught, guys, you are in a world of trouble, especially here. You know, don't do it. Uh, this guy, he's looking at some serious problems. Uh, it says here, uh, uh, Rathan Tibet police interrogate the suspects, filed a lawsuit, lawsuit against them. Consequently, the Northumbria Provincial Court ordered a fine against the Chinese gamblers and Thai card dealers from 4,000 to 8,000 baht, according to the offences. However, it does go on to say further down here, um, and this goes on to say what I'm saying. According to a report by the Northumbria reporters, a Northumbria Provincial Court did not grant bail in court as Q uh, had no permanent settlement and had penalties of imprisonment for three years or more. In other words, they wouldn't grant him bail because his, his, his sentence, if he's found guilty, uh, will be a considerable stretch of time inside. And so, you know, at the end of the day, guys, just try and avoid just silly little things. You know, honestly, just just stay away from it. Uh, now, one guy here who's had a bit of a bit of a mishap says a Belgian tourist impaled by metal wire on potato footpath. When I do my walkabout, so I constantly show you, I say to you guys, look, you know, be very, very careful when you're walking around, particularly if you've had a few too many sherbets. You know, it's easy to lose your footing to trip over. Some of the paths here are very, very treacherous. Uh, this gentleman was walking. He's he's caught himself on the path, they believe, stumbled as he went to fall. He grabbed hold of that and a, and a wire impaled him and pierced his hand. Um, it says a 61-year-old Belgian tourist was pierced through his palm by a sharp metal wire attached to a guy anchor hook. And, you know, you've got to be so careful, guys. If you really have. I'm sure many of you watching this have, have had falls. I've had them myself. You know, sometimes you walk around and, and they put these plastic uh, bottles, you know, the water bottles. They put it on top of the spikes that are sticking out the concrete in the floor. Very, very careful, guys. And, of course, uh, on the subject of wires, you know, don't go touching no wires. Remember in the news I reported a couple of weeks back about the lady got electrocuted. And on the subject of wires, uh, what they're also doing now is they're in uh, Soy Lenki. And uh, they're bringing down all of the overhead cables, which is a great improvement. It's a great part of, uh, of you know, tidying the city up. They've done it in Walking Street. I think they're going to just go through the whole city now and really just try and make it a much more uh, visually uh, enjoyable scene rather than all these horrible cables that just seem strewn everywhere. They just run cable after cable after cable. So they are working very hard on that and uh, they are trying to improve the city, which is a great thing. But like I say, go back to walking, guys. You know, if you're on the pathways here, please just be very vigilant because it's so easy to fall over. And, uh, you know, you never know, like this gentleman here, what you're going to grab hold of or, or fall onto. And it could, you know, could ruin your holiday. Talking of holidays. Now, as you know, I'm not a fan, unlike Coops, uh, of the uh, Songkran situation here. I, I think I think two days is more than adequate. I think two days is great. However, it says here, Peel Thai leader proposes month-long Songkran festival in April of 2024. I mean, honestly, what is that all about? Can you imagine? I mean, I, I just think everyone would leave the city. You know, imagine walking around every day and being subjected to being, you know, water thrown at you. I don't know whether they're going to allow that side of things. Um, it just goes on here to say uh, bits and pieces about it. Uh, the plan called World Water Festival uh, would move the celebrations from officially only three days to the entire month. Now, it does say here, this does not mean that the entire month of April will be a public holiday, of course, only that the country would celebrate Songkran across Thailand all month long by staggering events, water play, festivals, concerts, fireworks, and more across a 30-day schedule and all 77 provinces uh, versus three days to encourage trips to different provinces and the areas to extend the overall celebration. So let's encourage you to get soaking wet here and then go to another province and get soaking wet up there. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, you know, I don't want to come across as a bit of a bar humbug, but I just think, you know, when you walk around and you're getting bombarded with ice cold water, it's just not fun. It's OK for one or two days. But a whole month, and, I, and you know, I don't know where the boundaries are going to be regarding this. I don't know whether you're going to be able to throw water the entire month or whether they're going to subject it to, to the set periods. But it does say here to encourage you to travel around. So meaning that other areas are going to be still celebrating Songkran. So I don't know. Are you a Songkran lover? Are you a Songkran hater? For me, two days, that's, that's more than enough. And uh, get me out of here. So uh, parties. In terms of parties, uh, Soy 6. Uh, go down to the Mods Bar. They're having a yellow out party. And uh, I said the other day, I think I think Thai ladies in black dresses look absolutely breathtakingly stunning. I think they carry that, the, the black dress, I think they carry off amazingly. Uh, however, down here at Mods Bar in Soy 6, uh, the yellow out party, the, that starts at uh, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. 
on Tuesday. So if you are feeling like a, an adventure and going down Soy 6, uh, go out there and enjoy the party. While you're down there, guys, if you need any assistance, any advice on your uh, visas or anything like that, uh, pop into a uh, one-stop visa down at the bottom of Soy 6, just on the left-hand side before you get to Beach Road. Uh, go and see Mark and his team in there. They're fantastic. Really, really very, very helpful. And they're more than uh, capable of sorting out whatever requirements you may or may not require. So go down there, one-stop visa services at the bottom of Soy 6. Go check it out. Go say hello to Mark and uh, you're in safe hands. This Friday, now if beer uh, was, wasn't working, beer would be down on this like a rocket. They are having an Italian wine tasting uh, event at Dicey Riley's. Uh, starts at 6.30 p.m. until 9 p.m. Says enjoy a selection of wonderful wines from Italy while sampling our savoury uh, five cheeses at Dicey Riley's. There you go. So go and have a look at that, guys. Dicey Riley's. That's on Second Road, um, right by the Amari. And uh, it's if you're into your wine, again, you know, talking about the cost of living that we were speaking about a minute ago, when you are buying imported wine, it's, it's expensive. There's no ifs or buts about it. It is expensive. And that's the, the, you know, that's just part and package of what you're going to have to pay for because they have to pay the stamp duty and, and everything else. But if you are into your wine, I mean, Dicey Rise is a nice restaurant as well. So it's a big, big venue. Um, so if you are into that, go down there. It says the uh, price is 1,390 baht per net per adult. Uh, and uh, that's on the 8th of December. That's on this uh, this Friday coming up. And like I say, an Italian wine tasting event. If that's your thing, go check it out. Uh, on Saturday the 9th, uh, we've got the sexy pink parties. A little colours going on this week. Yellow, pink. Um, and that's at the Kauai Bar. Again, down in Soy 6. You know, when you look at Soy 6 now, to be fair, that they have got, without a shadow of a doubt, the most amount of girls in a in an area, I think. Um, excluding Walking Street, obviously, because of the size of the place. But, but Soy 6, there's loads and loads of girls down there. So, obviously, you've got lots of birthday parties. Um, but they're having a sexy pink party on Saturday the 9th, starting at 3 o'clock. Three o'clock on Saturday at the Kauai Bar. Uh, go down there. And it says they join the ladies in their sexy pink uniforms and be ready to party with them 3 p.m. until 1 a.m. On the subject of 1 a.m., I've heard in the news, I've yet to find it being confirmed, uh, but they are looking to extend the opening hours until 6 a.m. over New Year. And what they did say, uh, which I read, was that they are going to look at selective areas, meaning it may only just be Walking Street, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what their thought process is. They haven't made it uh, clear yet, but they are saying that it's been approved to open till 6 a.m. However, it's not a blanket approval across the whole of the city. It's aimed at selected areas, which, you know, I think that's a bit unfair, really, because if you're going to say, right, OK, Walking Street can have it, but LK Metro can't, you know, why why penalise businesses that are just in separate areas? That I, I don't get that. They haven't said they're going to do that yet, so I don't know. So please don't take that as granted. Um, but that's the, the thought process. That's what's going around. They're saying that they are going to uh, allow 6 a.m. but selected areas. But let's see what happens. Um, on Tuesday next week, Tuesday the 12th of December. So not this, not tomorrow, but Tuesday next week, a big festive Hop House Christmas quiz. Uh, that's at the Hop House Brewery. And uh, they're doing an event there. It says, great prizes, raffle and more. Join us for an evening of free entertainment and the chance to win. Do you on your team have what it takes? Feeling lucky in the raffle. Um, I've got to be honest with you, I'm terrible at quizzes, as you know. My geography is, is embarrassingly bad. And uh, talking about embarrassing, uh, in the video I said to you, I'm going to bring to you, which is about uh, Bang Chang. You know, one of the things I do is I don't edit stuff out. I just, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. You know my style. I don't, I'm not trying to be some uh, prima donna video editor and all the rest of it. But what I did do was I messed up. I went to the Crab House, uh, which is a really nice uh, on the sea uh, crab and seafood restaurant. And uh, I ordered a, a crab. I thought, oh, yeah, let's try the crab. You know, it looks amazing. And I don't know how to open a crab. <laughs> it gave me a mallet. I mean, what am I meant to do with a mallet? It gave me a mallet. So anyway, and I made a complete hash of it. You'll see that in the video. It really was just a disaster waiting to happen. And uh, I think I managed to get the smallest portion of, uh, of crab meat out of a massive crab that you could ever possibly do. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, like I say, if you are into quizzes, get yourself to the big festive Hot House Christmas quiz. Tuesday, 12th of December from 7 p.m. in the evening until 10 o'clock in the evening. Uh, again, the following week now, December the 13th, uh, down to the 17th. This will be at John Tian Beach. I am going to go down there. I will video this. Uh, but they've got the uh, the World uh, Water Jet World Series 2023. I've been to these before. They're great events. Uh, if you'd like to see the guys wanging it around on these jet skis at incredible speeds, 
um, then yeah, get yourself down there. That's on December the 13th to the 17th. That's at John Tien Beach. Uh, so go down there. They have they have a grandstand as well, so you can get yourself into the grandstand. Uh, there's lots of um, stalls, lots of stuff going on. There's parties and everything, so you'll have a good time. But if that's your thing, go down there, guys, and check that one out. All right, what do we got else? Uh, lastly, oh yeah, this one, this one, the last one. On Saturday, the 16th of December at 5.30, the biggest Christmas party in Patea. Uh, it says here, an international rock piece as well. So uh, where are we? Uh, an evening of fun and entertainment from a full international rock orchestra and a fashion show costing 2 million baht to produce. Uh, the professional fashion show features famous Miss Thailand, Miss Universe supermodels. The Dutch mega rock orchestra uh, B2F will be joined by members of the Rangsit Symphony Orchestra for a once only unforgettable music show of your favourite hits from the 50s to today, Elvis, Earlo, Tom Jones, Beatles, Michael Bublé, just to name a few. Elvis, Earlo, well, Earlo, okay, rock. Tom Jones, really? Beatles, my, I mean, when they said rock, I'm thinking of like, you know, Megadeth and Metallica and, uh, you know, stuff like Sepultura. <laughs> oh, well, uh, anyway, the Vino, uh, Vines to Vino will be there with huge discounts on wine. Uh, does it say how much the tickets are? Hang on. Uh... It says tickets available, but it doesn't say how much. Why is that? How much good is it? Where does it say? No, it doesn't tell me. Must be a must be a ticket price somewhere. Oh, hang on, yeah. Uh, early bird, 1,600 baht for the first 150 tickets. Ticket includes buffet dinner, soft drinks and entertainment. Heavily discounted wines will be available on the night. Doesn't mention about beers, but I guess that, that'll be available for you as well. All right, so there we are. That's about it for this week's roundup. Um, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not really sure where I'm going with the news. To be fair, I, I'm doing it every week, and I just feel like it's like a rinse and repeat. So I don't know. I might just do it every two weeks and just give you like a fortnightly update as to what's coming. But the trouble is, if you're like me, when I tell you what's happening in two weeks' time, by the time I finish this video, I'll have forgotten it anyway. So I don't know. I'm not going to persevere. I'm going to keep going and uh, just see where we go with it. But yeah, right now it is. It just seems a bit like rinse and repeat. But anyway, I'm just trying to give you information about what's going on here. Uh, in terms of what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I am moving around now. I'm going to go and start traveling about. As I said, I've just done Bang Chang. Um, I'm going to go back out and do other stuff. I want to bring more to the channel than just the walking around the city and, and interviewing people. I've got some good interviews coming up, though, having said that. So I'm going to uh, do those as well. But yeah, that's what's happening. In terms of the Buzzing Lounge, I just can't say anything else other than a huge thank you to everybody that kindly comes in and supports the, uh, the girls. We've got 32 girls now. You know, brand new pool table. Uh, I am looking at doing the wall and the floor in the very near future, so watch this space. But yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's going well. So thank you very much to all of you that have kindly come in and support the bar. It's much appreciated. Okay, that's it for today. That's it for this week. Uh, as always, remember, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Have a look on our Instagram and our TikTok. They're going from strength to strength, so please check them out. Uh, they're little short 15 to 30 second snippets of information about what's going on right here, right now in the city. Random stuff, literally. I'll be walking down the road and think, oh, let's, let's video that, and I'll just pop it in there if you'd have a browser. So have a look at that, guys. Now, please look on Discord. If you join at Discord, you are going to get only access to a couple of rooms. One of those is called Access the Rooms. There is three boxes, Pattaya, Bangkok, and Phuket. Please just tick the box once. Just check it once with your mouse and uh, make sure you watch the counter goes up by one. If you double click it, it'll add you and take you off. So be very careful. That. Just tick it once and then you'll have access to all the rooms that you may or may not be interested in. Rather than having access to like 50, 60 rooms, uh, if, if you're interested in Pate, you'll get access to, say, 25 rooms. So it just kind of makes it a bit more of, a, of an enjoyable uh, viewing experience rather than scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. So have a look on Discord. Totally free of charge. Please have a look at that, guys. And if you'd like to support the channel, there is a link to our members area. I'm building a brand new website that's coming very soon. It won't be this side of Christmas, sadly, because we've got a few issues which we're ironing out. Uh, but there's a brand new website coming to the channel very soon. So please wait for that and have a look. But right now, if you'd like to support the work we're doing, uh, go to buzzingpatea.com. On the left-hand menu, the bottom icon, uh, you can have a look there and it'll show you there what well, I can't show you on here. And remember, if you do kindly join and support the channel, you are going to get, for now, you're going to get an email uh, which will take you to a different website where the members' content is. Moving forwards, I'm going to combine everything into one website, which is what we should have done in the first place. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much, Steve, for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.